Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here with a timeless reading. The first cards that we have out are Page of Wands, Two of Cups, the Death card. I'm seeing Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So Page of Wands and the Two of Cups is like getting something started with another person. So you have something that's happening, but then the Death card can be like a dramatic shift or like a big event happening or a big change with the situation. Interesting. Okay, I'm seeing... So death card would imply that there are changes that are happening within the dynamic, whether it be like outer circumstances that are impacting this or inner circumstances that are impacting this. Death card means that there's like in progress to the situation. And then having three of pentacles come out after, it seems like there's a working together now that's happening. I am seeing six of cups so this does look like, I don't know what was happening with you guys before. It's like weird that the death card is here because like if the death card wasn't here, it would still make sense. So like, I don't know what it is that's changing. Cause when you see the, when you see the page of wands and you see the two of cups, like the first thing that comes to mind for me is that these two people are like, okay, we're going to like do this thing together. Now we've decided we both want to like walk down this road, the same road at the same time, sort of. So it's like these timelines have collided now with these two people and two of cups is like, it's somebody, these people, they have a special connection with one another. And if Death Card wasn't here and we just saw the Three of Pentacles, it would be these two working together and figuring things out. But because the Death Card is here, like something big could have happened or something dramatic could have shifted in some way. But then I'm seeing still the Three of Pentacles. So it seems like you could be working through something intense that happened. Usually Death Card is... You just think of an intense scenario, but I'm seeing there be Three of Pentacles after, so it's like working through it still. And I'm also seeing the High Priestess here too. So there can be sort of a privately working on this together with one another. And because I'm seeing the Six of Cups here, there can be stuff from the past that's coming up or this is somebody that like you know this person. There's a familiarity between you guys. Something has shifted, but I'm seeing everybody be down to still participate. I mean, death card can even be something like one person moves far away and now it's long distance and you guys are still trying to work together with one another. So it can really be so many things. I am seeing, I'm seeing the ace of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. But having three of pentacles and having high priestess is making it seem like you guys are working together, but maybe like again, privately, could be feeling your way through the process. It may not be something that there's been like a big announcement about this. It seems like that may have been the key, actually. I'm seeing six of wands. You could have also had a feeling about this too, that this was like the way to go and the way to work through this. Six of wands would show you working things out with this person successfully. Like what you were out to accomplish here is accomplished. But having high priestess before it, it may be like kind of hush hush for some reason like not telling the whole world about this first yeah because high priestess can be associated with privacy and that's sort of how i'm seeing this okay i'm 
I'm hearing something about someone stating their case. The death card was the challenge to the relationship. Something that was not easy to move through. This really feels like sticking, sticking through something even when something intense is going on. Like, I don't know if this was something that happened with both parties or something that was going on with one person or if it was, again, like outer circumstances or inner circumstances, but it's definitely something challenging because the death card, when you think about the death card and you think about Scorpio and, and you think about the eighth house and the eighth house can be these like very traumatic things that happen or these very intense things that happen um, that really takes sort of being devotional and sticking to something. So I'm seeing really an intense bond that these two people have with one another. To have Scorpio here, it would be like really quite a connection. And also too, to have the moon here as well. There's something very deeply emotional and even psychological energetically happening between these two people. Now, down here I'm seeing the king of wands and I'm seeing the nine of wands and this can mean that somebody somebody has to step it up and they have to show up but there are lots of challenges that are associated with that so it's like really hard but they sort of need to be determined to move through this like it's basically like the king of wands is facing a challenge here and the only way they're going to prevail is through like sheer determination and i'm seeing it like creates a challenge that impacts the relationship as well it seems it seems also like it's about how adaptable one is too because death card can kind of be like really shaking the foundation and moving things around and needing to sort of like keep one's balance or ride it out So I'm getting the challenge B to sort of stick with this through whatever changes are occurring. There could have also been a need to be present to page of wands and king of wands is about and two of cups can be like telling somebody where you stand and how you feel and like actively showing up and actively taking action to do what needs to be done so it's not just like standing around king of wands is like all initiate all make the first move all do what needs to be done because this is something that i want to be doing so it's about taking on that type of energy where it's like being about it about your dynamic with this person and really showing up regardless of what else is going on because i'm seeing definitely some tricky things that are happening but this person's dedication and devotion to the relationship is what's really going to make this work and not that it like it's going to be on both people yes but i'm only just seeing it focus on like this character over here and i'm seeing it be challenging sometimes but they have to be the one to like initiate and step up and I'm seeing that sometimes be a challenge for them, but I'm also seeing them be shown as being the king of wands. So they're shown as somebody very capable, but there's something about their dynamic with this person and the changes that are occurring that make this challenging for them to show up. But it's like all the more necessary. Yeah, I keep hearing things like state your case. It feels like somebody making a statement about their intention, but not 
we're not seeing King of Swords. This isn't just somebody telling you. This is somebody actually showing you what their behavior and their choices. So they move like they're dedicated. They move like they want to be there. I am seeing the moon pop up, but I am. it went back in there. It looks like something needed to be, a cycle needed to be closed out. I'm seeing that's what the challenge was. But I'm getting it like was very, it was not easy to do that. Not easy at all. Okay. So I'm seeing that be closed out and then I'm seeing us move forward. forward and feeling definitely carrying pain with them as they move forward but I'm I'm seeing there be like a lot of stuff that's like pressing on and pressing on and pressing on seeing is somebody that needed to make some tough calls and actually show up and do these things in order to get to the other side of what they of what they want within their heart space but I'm seeing this really be like a mental game for this person it's like needing to actually show up and do the thing and then sort of like psychologically move through this and face what needs to be faced but I'm seeing this person do it with the motivation of if I move through this and if I get to the end, it's like what I want is going to be at the finish line of this. So that's what I'm seeing really motivate this person to move through. So they're going right towards what they want, but they sort of have to go through this whole, I'm seeing like even an obstacle course that this person has to go through that it's like, it's very, very challenging for them to move through because I'm getting to, they may feel a lot is being expected of them and to show the death card here it's like a, a painful even metamorphosis that this person is going through but it's necessary in order for them to connect with what they truly want so this person's really coming into their own here and really taking charge of their life as well It does seem like ultimately this has to do with a very desirable connection between them and another person is what I'm seeing because I'm getting, I'm seeing them be very, very interested in exploring a connection. Like they couldn't be more interested in doing this, but it looks like they have to do all these other things. Like maybe, maybe to, it feels like to get to that point of being able to explore this connection. Even like other loose ends that have to be tied up. But I'm seeing them be super, super motivated. But it kind of like is on them too. So if you're sort of like waiting around for some, yeah. I'm seeing that their motivation for moving through all of this is Nine of Cups and the Star and the Four of Wands. So it looks like they're, they're doing all of this for the sake of like a relationship that they're trying to develop with someone. And it looks like they're getting ready to like make the offer to another person, but I'm seeing they have to go through all of this. Well, I guess, I don't know where they are within the cycle. They can be in a different spot, <clears throat> but I'm seeing that they're doing all of this because it's like they want to be with somebody very, very badly. And they know that this is aligned for them. Like having, having Nine of Cups and having the star, 
this is something that like somebody sees this and they're like that's the thing like that's what I want to move towards and then four of wands would be them like actually establishing that and making that solid and then to have the knight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck this would be like proposing that to another person and like actually doing the thing to make it happen so that's what I'm seeing why they're motivated to move through all of this tricky stuff because it feels like when they met this person or when they connected with this person to have the death card this could have been um this could have been like a really big catalyst for this person to go through some monumental changes within their life and it seems to like it inspired them as well to learn how to work with and connect with their higher self and their intuition which i'm seeing they've successfully done so now it's sort of on them to move through this and to to take accountability to do what needs to be done but i'm seeing definitely something that's like super tricky for them to end and i'm getting that like when they end it they are going to move forward and there is still going to be that like pain of sort of adjusting to something completing but i'm seeing it be worth it to them because they know that they're going towards this thing that they want over here so i'm seeing it like really motivate and carry them through it's somebody that knows that they're facing like the toughest stuff but when they get on the other side it's going to be more than worth it to them and so that's why they're so motivated moving through this and i do get the vibe too of them like even feeling very worthy once they move through too because this is like teaching them to rely on themselves and that they can get things done and that they can call the shots and make the moves and they can show up and what they can accomplish when they actually apply themselves and so that's why it's also important too because it's not just them going from here and then hopping to the outcome it's like how they grow as they move through these challenging things that they're accomplishing so there's like so much character growth that we're seeing here. And the very interesting thing is that this has all been inspired, it seems, by a connection that they have with somebody, that they feel with somebody. And they're interested in like exploring that further. It's like somebody, it feels like somebody that's really opened their heart in a special way in a very profound way and it does seem like it kicked off a lot of stuff for this person i'm seeing a very strong fire energy here but we're also seeing scorpio and aquarius and the moon Yeah, I'm seeing Five of Cups and I'm seeing the Seven of Swords, so there can be regret that somebody has about like maybe the way that something was done in the past. I'm hearing I'm hearing the way that it was handled, but I'm also seeing there be a like coming to terms too. Wow, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting somebody felt like like there was regret, but I'm getting they also kept it to themselves and sort of like healed silently through this. So, I get that it wasn't this wasn't communicated. But that's what's being worked on now. It feels like working on this thing and then having like a misstep and being like, oh, like that thing happened and like now I need to go back and do this thing. And it's sort of like this coming back into it to tend to it and keep, keep tending to it. And it does seem like whatever this was, this misstep, 
it happened like maybe within a relationship or it affected or impacted a relationship but I'm I'm seeing someone in a space where they're really working on things emotionally for themselves like a lot of emotional work that's being done and I'm sort of like attempting to tend to things in the most grounded way possible and take advantage of the opportunities that they have. I'm seeing there be timing at play too. Like there's a motion of things moving. Yeah, I'm seeing something about like waiting even to hear from someone. This could be a surprise. Some of you, you're not in contact with this person. But I am seeing something here about a new beginning, but I keep seeing seven of pentacles, so that would mean like it hasn't arrived yet. It's still not time, but that's what's manifesting. Okay, so what I'm looking at, I'm seeing there be something that catches another person's eye and I'm seeing them look at it and be like, I want that and I'm going to go after it. So I'm seeing there be the intention for them to do what needs to be done in order for them to move towards this thing that they want and I'm seeing it be the two of cups so it looks like a relationship that somebody's like, I'm seeing this thing, I feel very connected to it and I want it more than anything and so that's the direction that I'm moving in. I'm seeing that the challenge or the barrier to doing this is that it, it feels like somebody needed to, as they're sort of growing and coming into their own, it seems like this meant that there would be a very big shakeup or change that would be happening. So somebody may have needed to do some big stuff that may change their life in a big way and I'm seeing the Ten of Swords and I'm seeing the Four of Wands here. And so it, it feels like needing to close out cycles that have like expired, but needing to actually get on that and do it. Because the death card can ask us to surrender things that are no longer in alignment or we don't need them anymore. Again, like these things that have expired, but they may be cycles that we still entertain. So death card is like, if you want to keep moving forward, you have to close these out. So it looks like something like that was going on here. And it does look like something happened within a relationship or like a relationship was impacted in some way. But then I'm seeing this motion of like moving forward with things. And as one is moving forward, I'm seeing them like look back at this thing and feel like sad about it or feel regretful about it. But I'm getting them again, like keeping it to themselves and silently healing this. So it does feel like something happened within a dynamic that a person in like since moving forward looks back and like feels feels regret over feels sad about like a lament of some sort but then having the high priestess follow and also the three of swords it feels like this person may not have voiced that it seems like they kept it to themselves and then having the king of cups here it's like somebody that independently felt like they needed to tend to this and also heal through it and then to see the six of wands this shows somebody actually accomplishing that so it's like, it feels kind of like they, they suffered and healed in silence. And now I'm seeing them go into sort of the continuation of what they want to be working on, which may kind of bring us back to the top of this thing that this person sees that they're like, I want to go after that. Like, I want that thing. I'm seeing this thing is really resonating with me and I'm going to move forward with it. And we're ending with the Ace of Wands. So it seems like now they have the opportunity to pursue what they want to pursue. And again, it feels like a connection of some sort. Yeah.
right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.